All right, welcome back. As police tried to get into that blue armored vehicle just outside of Dallas, Texas, in Hutchins, uh, Texas, uh, we still have lots of questions as to what happened starting at 1.30 in the morning when this alleged suspect apparently opened fire on Dallas headquarters. And then 18 miles later, it is now... Uh, at this standstill here in Hutchins, Texas, trying to get to the suspect, trying to figure out why this all happened. Let's bring in my panel, licensed psychologist Eric Fisher and CNN legal analyst Philip Holloway and retired LAPD police sergeant. All right, good to see all of you. All right, so Eric, let me begin with you because, you know, police want to eliminate the threat, but at the same time, they're trying to figure out what would provoke someone to right. carry out an alleged attack like this on Dallas police headquarters. Based on what we know here, how do you assess this? Well, from, from doing some research to see what I could find, there's a lot of news that's out there on this. It seems that from police reports, he had a history of aggressive behavior as well as possibly some mental health issues. The behavior seems to be potentially delusional, so you're possibly looking at somebody who could be psychotic, who had delusions that involved anger and rage were the result of that, and he acted out towards other people. It had been towards his, again, reported towards his mother and another family member, and he had made threats, uh, again, according to websites on churches and schools. Uh, so this was something that had been brewing. He had also reportedly gone to another family home and taken some guns and ammunition at one time too. The charges were dismissed uh, in 2014, I believe, because he had followed all the court mandated um, recommendations. So here's a, his a difficulty though that you have in following somebody's history of how do you assess who could be a threat down the line and who's not. All right, Cheryl Dorsey, I want to bring you into this. This is a very different kind of police involved shooting that we're talking about today. You've been on this show a number of times in recent months to talk about the conduct of police officers. Now in your assessment, this is a very different circumstance, but how do you assess the conduct of Dallas police handling this when they were allegedly the target of someone who um, police said was carrying out a, an attack on headquarters? You know, this is an example of what police work is really all about. And this is what police officers do by and large. And so I'm happy that people are having an opportunity to see what good police work looks like, what good commu communication, good tactics look like. And when you follow those rules and those principles and procedures and do the things that you've practiced day in and day out, you have a successful outcome, as we did in this instance. No officers were injured, hurt, or killed. Still a lot of questions, and we still don't know whether there was indeed one suspect, this uh, suspect James Boulware, or whether there were more. Philip Holloway, is it still your feeling that this couldn't have been carried out alone, that there may be accomplices? I suspect that that is a distinct possibility, that he had some a body that helped him plan this or carry it out, or at least had some knowledge about it, because it had sort of a sense of sophistication about it that you don't really generally see when you have these mass shootings or attempted mass murders is what and this was. And certainly a boldness. Correct. This guy was extremely bold and, and of course I agree with uh, the psychological aspect of it. And I see this in my own law practice. You know, you see people when their children get involved, um, they just absolutely can change the way that they view the entire world and it can cause someone to change their behavior and do something that they would not ordinarily do. All right, Philip Holloway, yeah. Eric Fisher, Cheryl Dorsey, thanks to all of you. Appreciate it. We're not done with this investigation, this story, because it is ongoing. Again, still a live unfolding situation there.